Good morning, this is Dwayne, and today I'd like to take up block chord style number two. Yesterday we took up block chord style number one, which involved playing the melody with both hands, but making the left hand melody stand out. And under the right hand melody, we put in the notes of the chord, like if the chord was D minor seventh, you play it like that. And you can slide up to some of the notes in the left hand and make them stand out too. Usually it's combined with some, something in the left hand if you're not playing with a bass player. But that was chord style number one, block chord style number one. Now this is block chord style number two. It's entirely different. Uh, you don't play the melody in the left hand. You, you play a full chord in the left hand, but at the same time you're playing something in the right hand. You play the melody in the right hand. For example, if I was playing Little Darling, I would set the table by uh, outlining the chord. The first chord I think is D7, so I'd play the root third, and, I mean the root fifth and third maybe. And then that's the kind of sound you want. My left hand is playing chords at the very same time my right hand's playing the melody in octaves. And notice in the right hand I play an octave, but I fill in a note in between and s slide off a middle note to get a little... for a phrase and then go on to some other style. Okay, but that's block chord style number two. So again, let's, out, let's outline what it's made out of. In the left hand, you play the full a full chord of some sort. Depends what the chord is, of course. If it's D minor seventh, you can play it that way. And the more color tones you can jam into it, the better. For example, say the melody is E and the chord is D minor seventh. You get a big sound that way if you play at the same time. And then sometimes slide off a middle a, a middle black note onto a white key. You can do this. Now, if you're playing playing with a trio, uh, playing with a bass player, of course, the bass player is doing that. And so on, right? He's laying down the bass, but you don't. If you're playing solo, you don't have that uh, that bass. Style. So you have to supply a low note on usually on the first beat of a measure. Not always, but sometimes. Like I set the that's called setting the table. I set the table by playing the root third and fifth before I come up. I push down my pedal, by the way, sustain pedal, and then come up and play the block chord like that. probably wouldn't continue with the block chords. And then maybe go back to it here. Whoops, sorry. When I played with the trio, I used that style all the time. Uh, when you play solo, you don't use it too much, but it's awfully good to know because you can get a big sound that way. But the formula is simple. You simply play the chord at the same time you play the melody in the right hand. The melody's in octaves for a big sound, and uh, the chord is jamming as many color tones as you can into the chord, whatever you like, the sound of. If you like C6, or C major 7th, you could do that. Uh, and then, like I say, sometimes slide off a, a black key in the middle. It gives a little click to the to the uh, sound. Okay. Let's see. And onward. 
okay? So you can use that part of the time, but certainly not all the time. But it's just one of the styles you ought to have in your bag of tricks. So that's it for today. If you enjoy this kind of thing, come on over to playpiano.com and sign up for the series of piano tips, and you'll get a video or an audio or a lesson of some sort most every day. Okay, thanks for being with me, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.